myself to you. I am a broken thing, a cardinal with severed wing. I called it Lions because it's about it's about savagery and it's about kindness and it's about um, us being those two things at the very same time um, and that that to me is just a, something that's the, the older I get the more human those qualities seem when they're when they're together it seems like we all kind of have those those qualities sometimes at the very same time um, which is really uncomfortable to me like any other record anyone ever makes it's it's about trying to understand something that you don't really understand it was a natural process of just sitting down with the with the guitar and letting the songs come whenever they wanted to Lions was produced by Chris Walla, who is um, a member uh, and the producer of, of Death Cab for Cutie. I, I wanted to just sort of, you know, jump off a cliff and say, I'm, I really, really love these songs. I'm really proud of them. And, you know, why not try to work with somebody who's, um, who's brilliant at what they do? So, um, yeah, and I, I love it for that reason. You are the blood in my chest, the bird gathering nest. I'm different than I used to be when I first started writing songs. Now I kind of, I feel like a song will tell you if if you're the one that needs to do everything or if you need somebody else's help. It's no different than anything else, you know? Like, you can't, you can't be too precious or too proud about something. If you, if you believe in it and you want it to be the best um, and the most actualized that it can be, you have to be willing to let somebody else bring their talent and their mastery uh, into the situation. So Chris actually contributed some, um, and another good friend of mine, Michael Flynn, um, did some co-writing too, and I mean, this is a William Fitzsimmons record. It's you know, it's still my record. But there were just a few, you know, there was a few missing pieces. It's like I was looking at the puzzle, and there was just a couple little things that weren't there. And um, you know, why not see if someone else can uh, can understand your vision? I had probably the biggest changes um, ever in my life happen the last, last couple of years. And maybe you say that every couple of years no matter what, but... Um, so, you know, it's, it's about very specific people and circumstances and instances, but... Um, but I guess I just, I allowed the experience and the emotions of that to dictate what happened with the music. It was more just, um, you know, why, uh, why am I feeling this way? And, and, what needs to be exercised, what needs to come out. I, I think the people that get it, the people that really get it, they hear a lot more than just, you know, some depressed bearded guy. I think they hear someone that's really, really trying to communicate and, and tell the truth um, about experiences that are both uplifting and that are really difficult to get through.